Yeah, this is definitely, uh, you know, saw the last Armadillo set, wondering how JoJo was going to kill Lucario. And I think that we're going to see the same thing here. How is Sheik going to kill Lucario? Honestly, maybe even more so, because at least if you're if you're Tomb, like you have Bomb, you have Boomerang, you have Arrow, to force Armadillo to back off a little bit, to force Armadillo not to just throw mindless uh, neutral Bs. Mm -hmm. If you're Sheik, you don't have that. The most you have really to command space from a long distance is Needles. And that gets super duper beat out by, uh, by neutral B. And it honestly isn't even that much reward unless you can uh, kind of convert off it. Yeah. So this is scary, but Captain O is very, very, very used to, you know, being in this kind of situations where it's like, okay, I have a little bit of trouble killing. I'm very, very light. I die at 30, mm -hmm. but I'm going to find my openings anyway. His, um, his just conversions are just so clean. That's one thing that I love, like, about watching Captain L. Very good in advantage, similarly to Armadillo. But. Yeah. Gonna need to have those conversions on point for sure against Lucario. Gonna need to hit some of these raindrops. Gonna need to hit some of those er, those uh, those edge guards as well. Gonna have to see if you can abuse that uh, that Lucario up B because otherwise, uh, Sheik is gonna explode. Well, Sheik does have some ways to abuse that up B. I mean, Needles. You know, I was, was kind of dogging on Needles just a second ago, but Needles is good at keeping that kind of space where you know they kind of want to run in, dash in in some way. It's just such a quick option, and on top of that, Captain L especially, but Sheik as a character, very good at killing off stage when given the right chance, especially against the linear recovery such as Lucario, with the uppy, with the needles. Has some good polo options like we're seeing here. I will say too, Captain L did play some Lucario for a period of time, so this is, oh. you know, a player that does have some of the knowledge of what the character likes, what the character doesn't like, where they're vulnerable, that sort of thing as well. So we'll have to see whether Captain L can kind of put that into play as well here. And I see I see the HB in Captain L's name. I'm assuming he still plays on Box. Yep. I love Box Sheik in this game so much. We're seeing so much creative movement from Captain L. And Sheik can, she can, can be so tricky. I mean, just like Zao, we're seeing the, often the go to ledge. Doesn't quite get the, uh, the raindrop off the needles. Yeah, has some cool angles on the up B as well to refresh that ledge Ooh. vulnerability. Oh, the up smash just about to bring there. Yeah, the diamond cutter not quite, but it can be fanning is... Wow, good awareness from both players. Captain L is looking for these drag downs. They're not quite hitting, but there's such non-committal options. I mean, she just has a bunch of those. How does... Wow, that angle is yep. close and the, the kind of like Shino stall there. And the up smash gonna cover that up B. Yeah, that that angle too, refreshing your legend vulnerability without you actually touching stage. Um, is a really, really great tool for Sheik. Captain L with the conversion here. 44% off that first opening. And I'm here I'm very curious on who banned PS2 out of the two. I'd have to imagine maybe Captain L. I feel like um, having these platforms to play with and for movement purposes is so useful. Um, more so for Sheik than for Lucario, so I'd have to imagine. But I kind of like that, the non-PS2 start here. And Captain L, a big, big, big user of that crawl, that crouch from Sheik, making your hitbox so small. It's a really underutilized, I feel, a movement option. He's so good at using it. Hey, we're starting to get to the danger zone here for Sheik. Oh, definitely. Lucario having that little bit of aura. You can already see Armadillo starting to go for some of those back airs. And oh, going for the rain drop does not get it. It's kind of an awkward position there. Armadillo kind of like in between those two platforms. Definitely. And Armadillo here. Go wow, amazing awareness saying, okay, if you didn't combo, I'm going to go directly for the fourth one. Not quite killing, but that well. Similar situation to what we saw in the JoJo game. Armadillo so good at finding that exact positioning to make um, Orosphere as threatening as humanly possible. What? Uh, oh, I like the attempt there with the needle. Didn't have to tech stage quite yet at that percent. Captain Hill going for these down tilts is looking for that tipper down tilt into either an up air or into, you know, like something like that. Um, is getting these non tippers, unfortunately. Captain Hill. Um, I, I, I'm not sure about Armadillo. And there it is. Wow, the down. Okay, he's been using it, this down tilt. So, what the heck was that? Did you see that? <laughs> I've never seen that tech before. The like teeter cancel and the teeter cancel. Yeah, that, he knows all of the stuff that you can do with Shiki. Uh. <laughs> that looked a bit silly. I've never, I, I've never seen that. My bad. But anyway, yeah. So Captain L, so good at using these tilts to his advantage. He knows the exact range on this down tilt. Is using it again and again. 
Does he push the advantage is the question. Oh. Tyson hits the up, he doesn't quite get it. Now Armadillo keeping it. Uh, it's kind of center stage. Okay, getting these, these little picks here. Oh, no jump here on Armadillo. It's going to have to go low. Oh, you can see he was scoping out the forward air bouncing fish there, <laughs> trying to get the two frame. Lucario's up being not, you know, they're being very susceptible to those two frames. And the well, down tilt, drag down, up smash, game one going to Captain L. And I like a little mini pop off. I think he knew that he was literally at kill percent at 65 there. And Armadillo was starting to adapt. He started recovering more aggressively, mm -hmm. uh, kind of calling out the, the fact that Captain L is just using a lot of tilt and a lot of aggressive options. Hitting it like or sticking out his hitbox or his hurtbox rather a bit too much there could have been deadly, but Captain L being able to close out that game before it got or before things got a little bit too dire. Yeah, but Armadillo, I'm, we can already see starting to adapt. I am very curious as to where we uh, where we go here. Hollow Bastion. Okay. So, Sheik definitely does get some cool confirms here. Uh, Sheik loves this, but I do think that this is good for Armadillo as well. You've got that platform to play around with. Armadillo's movement so clean with those Aura Sphere B versus Wave bounces, you know, being tricky with that movement. Um, I'm trying to remember whether Sheik can actually raindrop on this stage. Um, I'm not sure. I know it has a slightly different platform. I want to say a little bit lower than normal. Yeah, I don't think she can on Smashville, but I'm pretty sure she can on this stage. Okay. But we'll see here as we're getting into game two, the, the reverse F tilt there. Putting Armadillo in a strange spot. And Armadillo just has not been finding the confirms nearly as many times as Captain L has. And I mean, of course, well, that's just kind of a sheet thing, right? You kind of have to be on point. Okay, goes for the, the option covers there. But no, Captain L, you know, Sheik, you have to be on point with your advantage or else things are going to go downhill very quickly. Uh, well, Armadillo can kind of, of course, take a little bit more hits. Yep. Yeah, we're seeing that dragged out into the up smash. Yeah, that was such a clean confirm to the needles into the tipper down tilt, confirming that uh, first kill for Captain L. Oh, I like that too. I, I know we talked about the Aura Sphere sometimes being able to beat out those needles, but if you can stop the Aura Sphere from even getting there, just a little, you know, a couple of charges of those needles uh, seems really effective. Oh, we're seeing something starting here. And Armadillo is kind of, I feel like, using a bit more panic options than we saw earlier. I think Captain L playing very, very fast. It's a bit hard kind of for Lucario to do that much about it. But you can do something oh. like that. You can get those confirms. Oh, oh no jump, jump again. And Captain L knows if the two frame doesn't quite get it. The ball. Um, wow. And tipper down till. Yep. Such a good combo started <laughs> going for that teeter cancel again. There's some characters that he'll just play in friendlies that just have insane looking teeter cancels. <laughs> but yeah, very strong start here from Captain L. Oh, good turnarounds. Gonna be extending the combo as much as possible. Armadillo very much still in this though. I do not want people to get confused on that. Oh, Ooh. but Captain L is just really good at not getting hit by that specific uh, interaction. Captain L's combos are so clean right now. Needle cancel. Yeah, no buffering. Uh, or rather, to canceling that needle with the shield is very, very useful. Such a good just option, especially when you're using it for movement like this. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. I've literally whoa. never seen that. Oh, I'm like just so hung curious. out. I'm curious if, if that was still active. I I, hope I'm it so was. curious. Does, does anyone know what happened? So what I'm guessing happened is it somehow got angled down into the shield or into the stage off the shield. Oh my goodness! Great confirm by Landon. Or Captain L, rather. Um, so I'm guessing it would still be active, because you can sometimes yeah. reflect the, the projectiles off the shield. This game is so silly. A little bit. I like that so much from, from Captain L there. Not being afraid to throw out that F smash on the landing as well. Uh, sometimes you don't see him, you know, just kind of throw out those smash attacks every once in a while. He likes those confirms. Uh, but showing, you know, I've got the call out here. You're going to take this F smash and you're going to die. Going back to Bastion for game three here. That looked more dominant than game one I on agree. Hollow Bastion. Yeah, honestly, I feel like maybe the stage choice, I could see the idea. Yeah, I mean, um, Lucario does have some combo roughs there, and the the stage um, the stage blast zones, you know, could be a bit beneficial. But come down. <laughs> Hiding behind the 3 2 on go. I actually love that. That's so tricky. Captain L, that's, I mean, that's one thing. You, 
as much as Armadillo has tricks, you have to be aware of Sheik's tricks as well. And really, there aren't that many Sheik mains. I mean, there aren't that many Lucario mains as well. It's a very not common matchup, I'd argue. But if Armadillo, like we said, um, was starting to adapt, you know, what, like definitely as much as Captain L was dominating that game too, Armadillo is finding his openings now. Yeah, we, we've talked a little bit already about matchups where it's very important to be ahead. Definitely. And I think this is another one of those because if you let Lucario get ahead and he gets that first stock, and he's able to actually abuse some of that aura, create a slide cancel off the stage there with the up B. Definitely. Uh, then it's just so much scarier for Sheik, needing to get that stock while being behind. But Captain L doing such a good job of staying ahead in these games. Oh, let's get, the, let's get the job blocked by Ghostbrite. I like the idea. And one thing I noticed from Captain L, right? After, okay, he's shown his hand with the uh, the ledge slip there on the up B. It covers about the same distance, as long as he does it from that to the distance. But anyway, it covers about the same area that that Needles does. But the difference is the Needles is a bit quicker. So it's really just timing that stuff. I never even considered that. It's so good on the part of Captain L. So good on the part of Armadillo finding that first stock there. I want to say for the first time this set, finding the first stock. Now how, if you're Captain L, do you make it back? Armadillo now has free reign to just kind of save yep. the stage with the Uppy barely canceling. I think that might have been the uh, hit stun extension on the Uppy there. They quite see. And with Captain L's conversions that we've seen throughout this set so far, this is basically an even game here. Armadillo not going to be able to pull out anything crazy here until he gets some aura. <laughs> Definitely such an interesting character dynamic. Like Definitely. Needing to, you know, you, you, want, you don't want to take damage, but you also kind of want to take damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's it's very interesting. The, and the decision making that comes alongside playing that character, Armadillo has shown great proficiency with. It's, it's really fun to watch. And I feel like that's one thing is Captain L is, oh, wow, yeah, like I said, you can change the distance there for those kinds of mix-ups there. But, um, yeah, no, oh, ooh, Armadillo, though, knows how to kill without aura, doesn't get the, the dare to frame, but wow. finds the up smash, calling out the bluff with the, uh, the kind of fade back fair, just crouching directly under the aerial and getting that stock. Now, Armadillo with a pretty healthy lead, honestly. Against someone like Sheik and is getting these combos for the first time in the set. This can be scary. Catches the double jump though, doesn't get the two frame on that down tilt. Okay. Is so the stage pick working out for Armadillo here? And she oh. oh god, the back air is so scary. I love that adaptation though, going for the bouncing fish over. Oh, to convert off this, gets down smash, and it does kill! Last stock here, but what I was gonna say earlier is something that I feel like Armadillo hasn't been uh, kind of maybe not considering as much as uh, he kind of should or could is the fact that Captain L is really not letting oh. Armadillo live for that long. Goes for the ledge jump, doesn't quite get it. This is scary if you're Captain L. One back air can spell death. That up air not quite up killing. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't kill genuinely. Yeah, Armadillo has been so good on the call outs here. Up air still not killing. Not enough aura here. Oh, this is amazing. Something started like pretty much now. Oh, the crouch. The aura sphere. <laughs> crouch is such a good option. Again, crouching under another aerial. Captain out using this movement so okay, well. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, Armadillo. Just not kind of crouch under that one. <laughs> the little mini pop up there. All right. Trying to get a little bit nervous, but clutching that one out, good stuff. And I mean, we don't. It's pretty rare. I feel that uh, I feel the need to say clutching it out in Lucario chic when Lucario has a lead. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But Landon or Captain L has just been so good at finding these kills. But Armadillo finally, finally getting those conversions, getting those combos, getting those kill confirms in that game four there or there, that game three. Mm -hmm. So. Let's see on game four. Okay, a little bit of stage confusion. Let's see on game four what the adaptation is from Captain L. Because, you know, you mentioned it earlier, um, but getting that first stock is so important. And I feel like last game, both players, um, both players were kind of looking for the first stock, but while Captain L was taking a more aggressive approach, which I feel like isn't always the case, um, Armadillo decided, okay, you know what? You're being aggressive. I'm just going to back off. So let's see what Captain L does 
uh, pace wise because I feel like that's been the biggest factor. So we're, seeing, <laughs> we're seeing some patience for sure. <laughs> Okay. I love that. Both of them just being like, I'm going to charge our spirit. No, you're not. I'm going to do it again. No, you're not. <laughs> nah. Maybe one more time? Nah. Oh. Right. oh. There Armadillo we go. Armadillo's, so yeah, finally good. starting to get some of these longer conversions that we know Armadillo for. Definitely. The amount of times we've seen Aura Sphere bounce off of Captain L's shield this set. <laughs> oh, okay. And I kind of like the play style change from Captain L. It's kind of what I was hoping for a little bit adaptation-wise. Um, as we're seeing some slower gameplay, but still just as fast, just as aggressive, just as scary in advantage. Not afraid to take oh, those no jump. risks. Doesn't hit the two-frame. Armadillo going to be making that back. I like that slight curve. He's used and just control of Lucario's up beat. Oh, that oh. was dragged down. Yeah, he was looking for the raindrop there. Doesn't fall through the platform. And now you're in a very scary position. Can you... Okay, goes for the stall. I like it. But Armadillo, not face, not getting hit. And the War Sphere going to be covering that space that uh, Captain L loves to kind of hover in without that invincibility. It's a bit scary. Oh, that wow. looked like it should have confirmed... Doesn't get it confirmed here. So ah! no patient, but goes for the read. Doesn't quite get it. Armadillo not being phased. Knows that she can't really do anything about that shield. So patient from both of these players here. I absolutely love it. I love seeing patient play like that so much because when that when somebody finally pulls the trigger, when somebody goes for the draw, I honestly, it's, it's so hard to tell what's going to happen. Goes for the double jump read. Doesn't quite get it on that up air, but she... Yeah, that, uh, that yep. double jump up air is going to be the main thing, I feel, uh, at least when you're on stage. All right, back to this neutral here. Platform versus platform. Who's going to go away from it first? It's going to be Captain L. A bit aggressive, recognizing that he's down. Has to kind of approach in some way, but Armadillo staying as patient as ever. But we're seeing this confirmed here. Oh this my is a goodness. Long combo, evening up the game in one conversion. I don't always see that from Sheik. Sheik kind of known as the, okay, you know, doing a t like 20 hit combo for like 20 damage, but no, Captain L is so good at spending these optimal kind of combos. Okay. Oh, that oh wow. the, the coverage on the two frame there with the Aura Sphere confirming into the back air. It's so, so hard good. to be ready for that if you're Captain L. This set is so fun to watch. Both these players pulling out very creative confirms, very creative ways to find this stuff because both players are so good at avoiding it. Their movement is just so clean on both ends. You have to be tricky. If you want to win, go for the lingering there. Tries to go for the bounce, but doesn't quite get it though. Oh, goes for okay. I like it. Goes for the tech read. Doesn't quite get it either. Captain oh. L though staying an advantage. It isn't. Over goes for the shine or the I want to say shine stall. She's a stall. <laughs> wow. Oh man, Armadillo's DI on these down tilts now. These tipper down tilts aren't confirming in the way that Captain L wants them to. But that one, oh, oh, he didn't expect Armadillo to land on the platform. Was kind of an awkward, like little bit of hurt box shifting going on Ooh. there. And something we're seeing from Armadillo that we really were not seeing before was he's just throwing out these F smash, he's just throwing out the force pumps, throwing out the neutral beast. He knows he has a lead, he knows he can kill right now, but I can't tell how it's like I can't tell how much is intentional, how much is nerves. Um, so I like the adaptation, it's working. Ooh, down tilt back air. Wow. Being an option that we haven't seen yet from Captain L. Catching that DI in from Armadillo. And now Armadillo is out of aura. This can get scary fast. We saw it earlier. Captain L is so good at finding those confirms to rack up the damage. He's so good at finding those kills, but this might be too big of a lead for Captain L to come back from in this game. Yeah, the back air gonna be killing and we're going to a game five. Wow, what a oh. set so far between these two players. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is getting tense. Captain L, what changes do you make? I mean, we saw the changes at the beginning of the game. We saw the fact that Captain L chose to go for the more patient route, but Armadillo, I mean, if you're going patience versus patience, you have to find those confirms, and we weren't seeing the confirms. We were seeing a bit, you know, partially some drops, partially some a bit unpredictable from those up air confirms, but eventually he got it, but it was too little too late. Can you do it game of five when it matters the absolute most? We're running it back. Goes for the bounce. <laughs> <laughs> the start off the game. And honestly, like, going for riskier options off the start against Lucario. Ooh, good footstool down air. Uh oh. Oh my god, these down airs. Armadillo is going for these two frames a bit more. 
Captain L for the first time, but not for long. Armadillo just holding forward. Shades of Captain L, honestly, from this Armadillo advantage state. Yeah, it's so hard for Captain L to find an opening right now. Goes for the F smash. Yeah, about the only thing that's going to be killing at this percent without any aura. I, I love that, though. I, I really do think it's an adaptation more than nerves. Even though it's game five, goes for the footstool damage. Doesn't quite get the footstool, though. Captain L gets Ooh. this platform tech chase. This is what has been his moneymaker so far. This set. Mix it back for Armadillo, not confirming. Okay, buying some space there with that uh, that burst grenade from Sheik. These safe folks on both ends. Oh. Of bouncing fish, not quite going to kill. The Armadillo high recovery is I so like smart. That. Oh, oh it doesn't get it confirmed a little bit too late. I'm curious of whether that was supposed to be an up B, just to reposition there, but... It, like, it didn't quite look like it, but it's hard to say. Oh, this movement of both players ends again, just so clean. I think IK actually really like that from Captain L, recognizing, okay, Armadillo fight. Oh, oh my god! Confirmed. Armadillo guessing wrong there, goes for the jump. And now Captain L has a lead. This is what we were talking about. This is so important, that first stock of the game. Captain L now finding the extension of the lead. Holy crowd coming alive for Captain L's combos here too. Captain L, the BC Nate over here in the yes. Oh no my! <laughs> I have never seen that send backwards in that way. Yep. Armadillo oh going to silence gosh. the crowd real quick with the Aura Spear back air. <laughs> but Captain L still in advantage state here, basically. Does get that last of the up air. Going to put out a little bit more percent here. Still in advantage state. How is Armadillo going to get back to the ground here? It does and I make love it down, this. Down Captain L is milking every single little bit of percent that he can here. This is the adaptation that was needed that I mentioned earlier. You really have to be on point with those confirms. You can't give up any damage. Because Armadillo is so good at finding it. And if you want to keep this lead, you have to stay patient. You have to find these confirms. Still goes for the up tilt. Doesn't play. get the back air. Doesn't play get the, the follow up there. I don't think up smash. Would have, uh, would have connected. Yeah, it's hard to say on that up smash. I do feel like oh. that was intentional. I do so as well. But it's, it's hard to okay. say. Okay, but now Armadillo at that 117%. This is what Armadillo does so well. Oh, Lives to the late percent. <laughs> you almost gets it 40, with the back man. air. Oh, goes for the two frame. Oh, Neutral get up gets covered. Go. Yeah, oh, gets the okay. stall, goes for it again, gets the Legend vulnerability back there. Otherwise, that uh, that Aura Spear might have actually hit the ledge. You know, that info is so helpful against a character that's as scary as the Mario Oh, Kart and the air. up air just fraction away from hitting there from Captain L and Armadillo, punishing with the back air. When you're a Sheik, you have to be perfect. When Lucario has Aura, you have to be perfect. Armadillo, oh, not getting the up air follow up. Looking for oh. the double jump, trying to catch it, but doesn't quite get it. Armadillo! Oh my goodness, gets the single needle into the up smash. Such a, such a clean confirm, but you have to be so confident that that needle is going to connect. Wow. We're hearing the land and chant come out. Things are not as tense as before. Lucario, no aura, but he's getting something started here. Racking up the damage a little bit. We're seeing shades of what we saw in game one and game two. Okay. Oh, he's going for these kind of a, a little bit riskier combo starters with that. Oh, there. reads the roll. Oh, the gets tech a tech chase. chase. F smash isn't going to connect. I like that the reading the spot dodge. That's actually so smart. The Predator Arjun up to up air, not quite killing, or not quite hitting rather. The fair though, going to be extending the advantage. Gets the back air. That's yeah, gonna kill tries to jump Armadillo. out of it. And Armadillo holds on with the adaptation, makes it through. The pressure of Captain L finds those openings and brings that set back. And I love that Armadillo recognized that Captain L really was never get up attacking in that situation, which is scary. Armadillo, again, is so good at using that movement to kind of trick you into doing something that you really don't want to do. But <laughs> that time, we're seeing the Armadillo supposed to come back from the JoJo set. You know, that time Armadillo betting, not really betting at all, but betting that advantage state, which honestly could have been oh so important. I got some replays here. Glad we get to see some of these again, because there were so many clean confirms from both of these players in this set. Oh, I love it when you get to, oh, we get, Dude, <laughs> we get like, the horse <laughs> Oh, and then the, know? yeah, the really clean, uh, the start of the, the game there. Yeah, That's the good call good out. Call out. Wow. You know, Armadillo, I think this is really when, like that exact moment was where he was like, okay, I can kind of go for some riskier stuff. I'm not really doing the absolute most here. That was so clean. Yeah. Yeah, and this is what I love to see when you get two character specialists of, of you know, 
some lesser played characters. Definitely. You get to really see what both of these characters can do because, I mean, I mean, what we just saw, they have a lot of stuff. Definitely. All the drag down combos from Sheik, all of the Aura Sphere confirms from Armadillo, um, all just all of the pressure. They were both so patient at times as well. That moment where, where Armadillo is shielding on the platform and Captain L standing yeah. just <laughs> underneath and they just stood there. Just like, staring at each other menacingly. I absolutely love it. I'm having a blast watching these sets. Like the player, the player pool here, the character pool is so exciting to watch. I know mm -hmm. BMW, um, especially as of recent, has been kind of known as like the camper state, which I won't disagree with, especially in Washington. You know, <laughs> we're good at playing defensive. Yeah, you know, but I mean, when you get matchups like those, it's like it's not it's not everyone. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of the region, but it's not everyone though. <laughs>